Hey, thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to encourage you to get in the kitchen and have a little fun. And sometimes we try things, I, I wanna try some something different that you haven't, uh, that I've never tried to do in an instant pot, but it's an, a spaghetti squash. And I love spaghetti squash because it's so low in calorie. And for those who are gluten-free, or having, you know, have to cut back on the carbs, this is a great thing to, to prepare. So I'm just gonna show you, so you don't cut your fingers off. Um, you get a, a nice, nice size spaghetti squash, and all you're gonna do is take a short knife. Just pretend like you're carving a pumpkin. So I just put the sharp end in here, and I just cut it in half. There's three ways you can do it. I'm gonna try to use my muscle. <laughs> There's three ways you can do the Instant Pot. And I like this way, because then I can see what's inside. Okay, so once I start it, it's really super easy. So you've got a spaghetti squash. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Um, and so the next thing you wanna do, you got your spaghetti squash, and I'm not gonna take the seeds out, I'm just gonna leave those in there. You're gonna take uh, your pressure, pressure cooker, and I'm going to put a cup of water inside here. And you're simply going to Put them face down in the in the pressure cooker and turn it on. And I'm just gonna push seven minutes. Can you believe it's gonna cook in seven minutes? Put it on high. And I'm gonna change the time to to seven minutes. Oop. Okay, and so. I got it, I started it, it's ready to go. When it comes out of this, I went ahead for your for this time, for time's sake, I went ahead and um, prepared what it's gonna look like when it gets out. So what I have is a, a very beautiful yellow looking squash. And why it's called spaghetti squash? Guess why? Because it makes nice, uh, wonderful little like noodles. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna show you three recipes that you can do easy peasy. Um, so in this one, I just divided up just for, just for uh, demonstration purposes. So in this first one, we can make, um, let's see, some, I can get some chili and put that in there and some beans and tomatoes. Just dump it into the crock pot, just dump everything in. And you've got a bowl of chili. You got some chili cooking it. And the longer that this spaghetti squash cook that sits in here and puts it on, you put it on low or, or medium, um, it just it takes on the flavor of whatever you put with it. So it's really delicious and makes the house smell good. Um, the next one, you could just put a little garlic and um, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and you can have a little bit of uh, just a nice little dish. Um, the last one is super good. Oh, here's some butter that's um, that's tasty. The last one is the most favorite of all of my kids and the people that I've made it for. Um, spaghetti squash with tomato sauce and meatballs. And I'm just gonna, I just put all the ingredients in here and you can choose um, hamburger meat, meatballs, a lot of times you're just gonna want, I've heard and done some research that reducing your meat, real meat, is um, it brings your cholesterol down. So those of you who are on statin drugs or have inflammation, these are some easy dinners to make. Um, this is sausage that tastes, when you put it in with, this, with the sauce and cook it all day, it tastes wonderful. You could add some mushrooms to it. Um, so there's are different ways. I hope you try this and let me know how it turns out. Okay, bye.